All right, so let's solve this equation. If you look at this one specifically, this makes it different because there is a letter now on both sides of the wall. So what I want to do is I want to get all of my letters onto the left, and then we want to get our numbers on the right side. So to do this, we're going to bring this 4a to the left, and we're going to bring this positive 7 to the right. When we do that, their signs are going to change. So, 6a is already on the left, it'll stay. Then when this 4a comes left, it turns to a minus 4a. Equal sign. The 7 stays on the right-hand side. Then when this positive 7 comes over, it's going to turn to a minus 7. Our next step, we want to look at combining our two a's. 6a minus 4a is 2a. Equals 7 minus 7 is going to be 0. Then our next step, divide both sides by 2. That cancels. We're left with an a equals 0 divided by 2, or anytime you have a 0 in the numerator, the answer is 0. So our letter a equals 0. And if you think about it, if you were to plug this in up here, 6 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 7 is 7. Let's try it on the right side. 4 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 7 is 7. So 7 equals 7. So therefore, that is the correct answer. For our next one, we have fractions, but we're going to treat it the same way. So I draw my wall. I got to get this letter to the left and I got to get this number, or the negative 2, over to the right-hand side. So remember when they cross the wall, their signs change. So we're going to have 1 half f equals, I'm sorry, whoops. Let's try that one again. Let's delete that. Oops. Oh, well. Draw the wall. So we'll have 1 half f minus 1 half, 1 sixth f equals positive 2, because remember when this 2 crosses, it turns positive, and this positive 1 6 comes over, it turns negative. So right now, on the left-hand side, we are going to boom, boom, pow this. So I'm going to make this adding a negative 1. So 6 times 1 is 6, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 over 12. That would be 4 over 12, which is 1 -third. So, underneath, we're going to have 1 third f equals 2, because this 2 just comes right down. Next step. So how do we undo multiplying by 1 third? We multiply by the reciprocal, which is 3 over 1, and we'll do it to both sides. So these cancel, and we're left with f equals... So 2 times 3 is 6. 6 over 1 is just 6. f would equal 6. And we can actually plug this back in, and we can see if it's accurate. So I'm going to take this, plug it in. 6 times 1 is 6, divided by 2 is 3. 3 minus 2 would be 1. All right, let's see on the other side. Uh, 1 times 6 is 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 1 equals 1. Therefore, I know that the correct answer is 6. All right, for the last one, we have decimals. Draw the wall. I want to get this letter to the left and this constant to the right. So I'll rewrite it. 7.5x plus 4.5x equals 6.7 plus 4.1. Notice the signs change when they cross over because they're crossing over this wall. For our next step, let's combine our x's. So 7.5 plus 4.5, well, 7 and 4 makes 11. 0.5 and 0.5 is 1, so 11 plus 1 is 12. So it will be 12x equals um, 6 and 4 is 10. 0.7.1 is 0.8, so 12 equals 10.8. Divide both sides by 12, because we want to get the x alone. 
12 is canceled. So we have 10.8 divided by 12. So let's do some math here. 10.8 divided by 12. 12 doesn't go into 1. It doesn't go into 10, but it goes into 108. So this one doesn't really help us using long division. But let's take a guess. So I'm going to guess, I know 12 times 10 is 120, so I'm going to go uh, times 9. I'll try one less, because if we did uh, 12 times 10 is 120, that's too much. So let's try one below. So this would be 18, 9 and 1 is 9, plus 1 is 10. Oh, it works mm -hmm. perfectly. So it's going to go in 0.9 times. So x would equal 0.9.